Mmm. Yum. Coming right up on weekend at the cottage. Wow. Mmm. The stuff in this bowl is truly one of my favorite things to make. Every time I make it and serve it, people just are like, wow, this is fantastic. I'm gonna show you how to make an incredible homemade seafood chowder. Before I do that, how about a reminder, head to weekendatthecottage.com when you're there, subscribe to our website. Look for us on our dedicated YouTube channel now with over 300 videos for you to reference, try, and enjoy. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Finally, take a picture of this seafood chowder when you make it using hashtag weekend at the cottage when you post that pic on your favorite socials like Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm gonna suggest this fantastic chowder recipe for a cold winter's day. Maybe you're up at the cottage, you're at a ski chalet, you've spent the day outdoors. Nothing quite like coming home to a bowl of this fabulous soup. We're gonna start at stove top. I have a Dutch oven, medium high heat. We're adding four tablespoons of butter. The butter's gonna melt and then I'm adding half a pound of thick cut bacon. I've chopped that bacon. It goes into the pot. We're going to stir it around, cook it for about five minutes. Might stick to the pan a little bit. Doesn't matter. The fat's going to melt away. Uh, this is also a great time to grab a pepper mill. We're going to add some fresh black pepper at this point. Once everything gets just about crispy, it's time to continue. We're taking half of a sweet white onion, very finely diced. We're also adding three ribs of celery, also finely diced. The two vegetables go into the pot. We're gonna stir and cook those vegetables with the bacon until the vegetables get soft and translucent. Now we're gonna add some more veggie flavors, two carrots finely diced, as well as two cups of brown mushrooms, very thinly sliced. Those two vegetables go in, we give the pot a stir, we cook it for about five minutes, now you take your lid off, things are looking good. An aficionado will tell you a chowder is only a chowder with the addition of potatoes. Dice the potatoes, adding them to the pot along with some serious flavor. This comes from two bottles of clam juice and two cups of fish stock. If you can't make your fish stock from scratch, you can buy beautiful stocks now in the supermarket. Stir the liquid potatoes and vegetables together. We're reducing the temperature to simmer cover and we're going to cook for 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes, we're taking the lid off, grab a spoon, we're going to taste to make sure those potatoes are tender. They are, and now I get to add the richness. We're not going to thicken this with a flour mixture. Instead, two cups of whole milk followed by two cups of 35% cream. Give the pot a stir, place the lid on. We're gonna bring this to temperature for 10 minutes. Gives us time to get our seafood ready for this chowder. You can assemble your favorite. Today, I used everything fresh from the market. I have an eight ounce piece of cod. I'll cut this into generous big chunks. I have an eight ounce piece of salmon. I'll trim off the skin, chop it into chunks as well. Half a pound of shrimp, I've peeled them, deveined them, and then I'll just leave the tiny bit of the tail on, it's lovely. I also have half a pound of dinky little scallops and also a piece of tilapia, I'll chop that as well. Our fish is ready, last two things you're gonna need, one can of clams and then a can of smoked oysters. We drain the oysters, roughly chop them, and now when you take the lid off the pot, we're gonna add our seafood and you can see as it goes into the pot how fabulous this will be. An important step, we're gonna stir our seafood into the soup gently. We place the lid back on and now you leave it undisturbed for 10 minutes. This prevents the fish from breaking up in the pot. Leave it alone for 10 minutes, trust me. After that 10 minutes, you'll take the lid off. We're taking fresh chopped parsley. You give your chowder a stir and you can see, look at how beautiful every ladle filled with wondrous seafood, that rich, glorious broth. And I'm telling you, best thing is the flavor of this incredible chowder. I love to serve this with warmed dinner rolls. There is butter on the dinner rolls. So when I rip off a little hunk and I dip it in my chowder, I have that chowder soaked dinner roll. Mm, and that's pretty amazing, but so is a spoonful. Mm. Honestly, mm. nothing quite like homemade 
seafood chowder usual drill the only way you'll find out is when you make it make it serve it to your friends then sit back and enjoy after that come on back and hang out with weekend at the cottage again soon always something delicious happening right here in the weekend at the cottage kitchen thanks for hanging out and learning all about it sure is fantastic bon appetit